Welcome back to The 4, sponsored by ZDAX. I am your host, Brian. Flakes has returned to the league, after losing the law games. This week, we will determine who Fairy will face next. We welcome first Killer and SM as the new challengers. Not everyone can produce high quality content for 6 days, do our players have what it takes? Today we see first killer take on Ixo, who has established himself as a player who will take a series to game 5. Let's get started. We kick off the first game of the second installment of the four with first killer's debut. This will be his first match in a while against a European player. I don't actually recall the last time he's played against a European player. Certainly not one as impressive as Ixo has looked recently. It's a couple of good saves early by first. Yeah, he's going to get the boost in the back corner. And take the opening lead with the long shot. Great play early on by first killer. And Ixo's going to need to watch out for those long shots because we've all seen first killer do this before. Sits back, gets tons of clutch saves and smashes in shots from distance. Of course, Ixo came second place in the first installment of the four. So he does automatically re-qualify. First killer is coming in here. I'm trying to see if he can take him down in his first match. You know, I'll be impressed if he can keep this one close because Ixo's definitely been one of the best in the world recently. There's no question about that. First killer coming in a bit sideways on that challenge. Not advisable. Looks like he's going to get the kickoff goal, though. Early dodge into position. And another early dodge to put it in the bottom corner. Good stuff by first killer. This was one of the more complex kickoff goals, needing two early dodges. And even a little bit of an air roll after his second dodge there, just to make sure that he gets the power shot on the ball. Didn't want to hit the post. And then watch the ball roll wide of the target. First killer with a touch just to kill some time as he leaves Ixo's half. Ixo will bring it down for the dribble. Early flick. You couldn't see where first killer was, so that does make a lot of sense. First killer recovers so quickly. Ixo's got to be so careful whenever he goes forward in front of the ball. First killer could be launching a shot at any moment, and all of his shots are so powerful. Gets a boost on spawn and in reverse does first killer. Great timing. And Ixo looks like he's in a bit of trouble. He's going to concede a third goal. And it's that boost star by first killer. Coming to fruition here. Another power shot, although it wasn't that fast. It was still just quick enough to get out of Ixo's reach. What a start for first killer. He's on a crazy win streak right now in 1v1 show matches. That's not what you want to see from him, though. Ixo with a wave dash on the counter. Puts in a second goal. And that is a two goal miss first killer should be up four to one by all rights at the moment but he just completely whiffs it off the post the ball goes and now he's only got a one goal lead needs to be so careful here although i'm sure ixo is definitely a little bit surprised by how this one started off not sure if he's been following first killer's recent success in 1v1 show matches first killer tries to Sidewinder dribble past Ixo. Ixo gets it away from him. It looks like first killer. With another good save. Almost gets the boost in the midfield. Tries to dodge onto Ixo's boost as well, but Ixo will get to both first. It's another good touch by first killer as he leaves Ixo's half just to give himself time to grab that boost in the midfield. But now here comes Ixo into the air. Gets one touch into the crossbar, doubles it into first killer. That is an interesting adaptation we're used to seeing Ixo trying to bump his opponents out of the air when he sets up like that. This time he goes one extra touch into the bar. Maybe first killer is aware of Ixo's air dribble bump tendencies. Maybe he is not, but Ixo will be wishing he went for that after first killer saves it, survives the onslaught, and puts in a fourth goal. It's just all speed and power shots from first killer so far. And it's so rare to see Ixo be outpaced, but that's what's happening right now. So impressive by first killer. Half the game gone. Does look like he has Ixo's number for the time being. Can Ixo get a dribble 
goal scored. That would definitely help his confidence. Skiller loves to defend against flicking players, but he's not going to enjoy defending against that. What a goal by Ixo. Such a quick recycle on this play. First touch and a recovery at the same time. And he's going to dish that one in without any issues. One goal in it again. First Skiller holding on to this lead. Time it's Ixo with the soft touch just to kill some time. First Skiller takes his boost for his trouble. A low boost dribble by Ixo, only 12 remaining. Quite some height on the flick though, despite that fact. As first killer tries to sneak it underneath Ixo, that's the sort of move you expect Ixo to be doing. But look at this, Ixo's actually ran ahead of the ball here. Caught first killer in the back wall, and there's the wave dash recovery and the open net. First killer did not realize Ixo was going to be ahead of the ball in this play. Ixo saving his dodge after he fell off the ceiling, just so he could use it, get quicker into the middle of the box. It's a kickoff goal opportunity for Ixo. He will put it on target. Now Ixo's in front by one. Will Farskiller be able to keep his composure when he's under pressure like this? We know that this has been a problem for him in the past, although it's in the almost distant past now. Farskiller more recently been quite difficult to get out of a series. More success in game fives. Not so many throws. But versus Ixo, you'll have to be that bit more extra careful because Ixo is such a momentum-based player. When he does start firing in all cylinders, he is so hard to stop. And he's just faked a 50-50 to get it past first killer. Looks like first killer is going to be back. It's a good recovery on the inside of the post as well. One goal in it still. So trying to waste some time off the clock. Starve first killer a boost at the same time. First killer is staying with this play. Still no realistic chances. A minute to go before he has to start getting desperate forward. Look at that touch by first killer. Ixo is sure that he whiffed it. It's full absorbing mode now for Ixo on all these 50-50s. He's not interested in colliding with first killer when first is coming in with that much momentum. But finally, first killer gets his hands on the ball. He's trying to show Ixo what he can do on the flick. Ixo just controls it. No danger at all. This time, first killer's got a little bit of a boost advantage. He's trying to force the issue. 30 seconds left. Shot into the bar. Ixos missed it. First killer did not read that miss. Looped back around. Slow rolls the shot. And he will tie the game. That's great composure by first. Ixo with the save over the top. And then first killer had the option to boom the rebound, decided to take a touch, even though he only had 16 boost. And Ixo overestimated the height on the shot. 20 seconds left. Ixo trying to bait first killer in. First killer does not fall for it. He's trying to turn around in the midfield. That's a little bit risky. Ixo open net. Looks like it's a slow one. First killer gets his save. He has to recover fast though. Ixo's coming in for another. And that's actually a fantastic shot by first killer. Is he going to reach this one? Wave dash. Pop. He's hit the post. First killer had the open net, but we're going to go to overtime game one. He did everything right. The wave dash in a position was the only way that he could reach the ball. Hang on a second. Almost game over with a kickoff goal direct into Ixo's net. But Ixo hangs on. He's coming in with the dribble. Bumps first killer and actually a single jump by first killer on the takeoff. Ixo made contact with him. Got him into the air just for a brief moment. First killer is hanging on for dear life. He doesn't have much boost. He does one lap of the box. Ixo's coming back in with 100. Gets it past him beautifully. And Ixo takes game one. And nail biter. One that first killer really could have won. But it ends. Just like so many of Ixo's games do end with a dribble goal. 1-0 to Ixo. And Ixo not liking what he had in game one. Switches to the Dominus for the second match. And I did not expect to see a car change coming out of Ixo after a game win. But he's probably remembering that option that first killer had on zero seconds to take the match must have been feeling a little bit uncomfortable in the matchup but that's a 1-0 for first killer and Ixo just walks right past him 
What on earth happened to Ixo here? It looks like he's just driven way too far forward. And turned aggressively just as first killer was about to flick the ball. That's about as easy as first is going to score all day. Except maybe that kickoff goal that almost found the target directly. We did see a little bit of Ixo in the Dominus in the, the last installment of the four. He did eliminate Scrub while switching cars several times. Or actually, no, was it? It was actually Kronovi the Dominus, my mistake. But Ixo did switch car a lot. My first killer, mind games, it into the near post, hook shot to himself. Ixo is standing firm in the goal. His first killer tries to catch the boost right as it was spawning. It's actually spawned for Ixo. Ixo will bring the ball down, accelerate it. Look for the flick. So one pop, two pops. Ixo ties the game. A minute into the second match. First killer. Could not quite read what Ixo had planned. It wasn't even the fastest recovery by Ixo here, but he had plenty of space to land before first killer could put in the challenge. So he knew it was a fairly safe option to be going for. 14 boost for Ixo. Decides to shoot this to the top corner. Great save by first killer. He's going to wave dash into position and try and recycle this as quickly as possible. Takes all the boosts on his way. Overhits the center ball just a touch. There's the open net for first. Ixo pre-jumps in front of it, but he can't reach it. And the pace for first killer once again. Coming in clutch. Still so impressed by first killer's ability to not only keep up with Ixo, but at times go even faster than the madman himself. This game's shaping up to be just as close as game number one was. First killer doing laps across the box. Ixos almost stepped up cross out of position there. He stays just in the right side of the ball. First killer. Got a little bit too out of his way. And Ixos tied the game. This time it's a wave dash for him to get into position. Immediately followed by a dodge. Speed by Ixo wasn't as fast as first killer was moving. But it was fast enough to escape the bump the first killer was trying to put on him. There's a good catch up by first though. He's just driven underneath Ixo's car. Prevented Ixo from landing. And puts in the kickoff goal. Right afterwards. Good little check to the left there by first as Ixo was about to interfere with the ball. Kickoffs are definitely looking good for a first killer. As he rebounds over to Ixo's head. Still first killer. Looking like the quicker of the two players. Something that many of us did not think was possible was Ixo. Looking like the slower in a matchup. He's definitely still fast enough to catch first killer off guard every now and then. And his touch has been pretty good with the dribbles. I'm sure before this one is over, we'll see some pretty spectacular stuff from Ixo. There we go. Ball on net. Looks like he's going to bounce in. First killer can't reach it. And it's slow and steady. Winning the race for Ixo at the moment. 21 kilometers an hour. You don't see many goals that slow in ones these days. But Ixo ties the game by baiting in the challenge. Bring it first killer out of his comfort zone. We know that first killer loves to play shadow defense. He wants to react to what his opponent is doing. Hit those counter attacks on open nets. But if Ixo is dribbling at him slowly, first killer might be more inclined to challenge early. So far, it's worked pretty well for Ixo when he's baited in those challenges. Very linear play by first in offense. Going straight at Ixo's net two times in a row. Ixo with a subtle bump just to keep first killer away from this one. First killer stealing small pads from the edge of Ixo's box. This is so interesting. Ixo slowing down a game. The fact that he's willing to do this, that he seems capable of this, Certainly impressive. First killer misses a tight open net. He didn't have much room to maneuver on that one. Now here he comes for a triple touch attempt. He's still going. Ixo's in the way, but for how long? First killer shot saved by Ixo. And it's still three goals apiece in the second game. Ixo desperate to get the win here. To get first killer firmly on the back foot in this series. This first killer's looked so dangerous. Could have very easily won last game. He could very easily be ahead in this one. But Ixo's making some smart plays. First killer out of position. That's 4-3 for Ixo. And the 1v1 IQ battle is being won 
by the Englishman. Jumps over first killer's bump. And that's why the shot was a little bit awkward for him. He needed to avoid the contact the first killer was trying to make on him. This must be frustrating for first killer. So close, yet so far. And so still looking comfortable with his challenges. 5-3. Can first killer re-establish himself in game two? Failing that, reverse sweep will be necessary. You know, Hikso has been reverse swept in the past, but you don't want to take him to game five. He's pretty familiar with the, that territory. Look at that from first killer catching the ball while upside down. Hikso with a good reaction in the near post gets it to safety. And he only has to do that a couple more times and he'll have this game one. That recovery by first killer is just exquisite. Hikso is looking to capitalize. A slight mispositioning. First killer trying to get a bump of his own. He does get Ixo out of the net. And there will be a fourth goal for first. And it's his favorite way to score. Counter attack on an open net. If only he'd put in that other open net this game. He wouldn't have to score a fifth goal. As things stand, first killer still trails by one. 22 seconds on the clock. Ixo with a fake challenge. Gets first killer into the air. First killer's going to continue on through here. And the ball does bounce all the way back into his defensive corner. He's got one more chance. So he's just about in his sight. And into the air goes first killer. Air dribble to the top shelf. It was Ixo hiding from the bump. Which first killer was not even interested in. That enabled first killer to score. Ixo is so sure that first killer was going to dive down and try and snipe him. So he's staying on the ground as long as possible there. First killer just goes over the top of him. And he might. Have another kickoff goal attempt. Ixo saves this one. So nearly first killer's game, just like the first game was. First killer keeps the ball up on zero. Ixo helps him. That might not be a good idea. First killer's still in offense, but it's overtime game two. Both the first and the second game of the series decided in OT. First killer is up first with the shot. Ixo gets in the way, but he's in a really tough position. This touch by first is disgusting to take the game. 11 seconds. First killer reverses in, flicks it over to Ixo, and we are all tied up. We have Ixo bringing back a habit of changing his car. ZX are back too, the sponsor of this tournament. They offer custom built PCs at good prices. Get 5% off your custom gaming PC with discount code JOHNNYBOY shipping worldwide make a change to your gaming let's get into game three looks like we're just gonna get a showcase of Ixo's entire garage this series Venom makes a return and then this is a car I can confidently say he has played in the four this versus scrub killer did get the win. Will he be able to get a second one against a very impressive first killer? It's extraordinary to see first killer playing so well against a player with so much more ladder experience than him. It just shows the show matches have given him that competition experience that he's needed. And the mechanics have never been a question. First killer. Just walks this one past Ixo for 1-0. And it's still the same story that we've been seeing all series long. Ixo's the one who's getting boost starved. Ixo's the one who's struggling to keep up with his opponent at times. First killer just dominating mechanics. Real terrifying prospect for the future of Rocket League. If he can keep this up. But Ixo's still so smart. Look at the way he ties up this game. Just getting on the right side of the ball. Flicks it into an awkward position. First killer did not think Ixo would turn for this. But Ixo does find the opening one all. Such a back and forth series here. You know, we're so used to talking about Ixo's mechanics that we fail to realize just how smart of a player he is in the ones arena. He's really showcasing that this series. But he's going to need to keep it up because first killer's brought his A game as well. 
Long shot attempted by Ixo. This time he will be the one who's fastest to the ball. And he takes the lead 2-1. Muscular with a bit of an overstep here. Maybe not expecting Ixo to recover as fast as he did. Here we have 2-1. For Ixo. He's had to really fight for all of his goals that he has scored this series. None of them have looked too comfortable. Sometimes he just goes into the zone and he's scoring at will, but today has not been one of those days for Ixo. His flow has certainly been broken up by First Killer's dominance of the boost in the corners of the field, as well as his physicality and his acceleration that he's able to generate, not, not only on his car, but also on the ball. There's a pinch shot by Ixo. Something that we're very used to seeing. This first killer looks at the fast track down the middle. That's twice in a row now. First killer is trying to catch Ixo. Looking for boost in the corner so he can just walk in a goal. Look at this by first killer. Just outrageous dodging. Not only of Ixo's challenge, but getting straight through the ball and past Ixo at the same time. Ixo was looking for the boost or the bump there. He gets neither because first killer dodges diagonally to the right and gets everything in one fell swoop. 2-2 two, two now. Ixo looking for the top corner. He's gone a bit direct into the post by the looks of things and it's almost on target for first killer now. Very strange to see the ball bouncing all the way out into the middle there, but Ixo was paying attention. He's got another chance on the ground. Usually this would be the exact place that Ixo wants to be in a series. Versus first, it's been difficult. There is Ixo though. Straight through his opponent. And we have been used to seeing this in the past. Ixo really staying close to this one. He gave almost no window for first killer to get past the demo and also save the shot. And 3-2 now. The score is Ixo inches back in front. And that might be a misplay by First Killer. A rare misplay, but a misplay for sure. And Ixo gets a freebie 4-2. You know, I said earlier that he's had to work for most of his goals this series. Well, that one he didn't really have to do too much. Just a light pop. First Killer's out of the game. Maybe expecting something a bit lower, it would seem. Two minutes and 14 left. Ixo flick into the bar. Almost double touches it on the landing. He's going to try and dish it in. First killer is there for the save. First killer landing on the boost as it spawns. Gets faked by Ixo though, who was not intending to challenge there. Just a little bit of a pump fake on the turn. But first killer is trying to air dribble. He decides to try and flip reset when the ball is almost on the ground, but looks like it was too little too late. Ixo with multiple touches on the flick after a full rotation. Still. Not enough to fool First Killer. But Ixos controlling the pace of the game for the moment. First Killer just dives in. He's thinking, you know, if I could either get a bump here or a demo, either works for me. Let's just hope for both, maybe. Ixo on the counter. Escapes First Killer. And he's going to go up by 5-2. This is the most controlled and one-sided game that we've seen so far. Which is saying something. Because it's not even a one, too one-sided of a game. Ixo just edging out in front here. After being very close for most of it. First killer looks like he's going to be right back in it with a kickoff goal. Two goals will be the difference. As we approach the final minute, anyone's game. Ixo in the Venom. First killer, of course, in the Octane. First killer trying to ball chase here. Ixo was doing just that. First killer has the boost advantage and another exquisite dodge. The way that first killer avoids contact from his opponent while also scoring the shot. Look at that, jumping early to get away from Iso's bump and still nailing the shot. It's the second time this game that he's done that. First killer gives the boost to Ixo, runs back to his goal. Ixo not getting his shot anywhere near fast enough. He has to be careful for the bump here. It looks like first killer is going to leave it in favor of boost in the corner. And an early interception will lead to a tie game. First killers found a way yet again. This time dodging off the wall, coming in sideways. And it may have been deliberate. It may have been accidental, but 
first killer got a perfect read here. Now, Ixa has got some interesting camera settings. I don't know if this is a camera bug or if he's done this on purpose, but Ixa, <laughs> Ixa with the space station camera settings, and that's uh, not space station in the RLCS org. 30 seconds in it. What is Ixo going to do with these settings? I mean, if one thing, he's definitely going to see what First Killer is doing. And I'll tell you what, he takes the lead. Ixo up 6-5 after First Killer fails to get his little touch on the ball as he rotates back. And now he's going to go down low. We're getting both extremes from Ixo. He wants to finish this one off. Getting nice and close to the ball. Real action shot here from Ixo. As he looks to take a two goal lead. And he will take a two goal lead. This man can play with any card. He can play with any camera settings. It just doesn't matter. First killer has no idea what has just happened. <laughs> but he's he's going to look back at this and think, what? How did I concede these goals as Ixo takes the game? and takes a 2-1 lead. Okay, first things first, no car change for EXO. But we might see some camera changes later on. He's gone for the slime boost. Something that he's picked up from Scrub Killer in his series in the last installment of the four. Uh, it looks like spider's web or something on the decal. I don't know. Maybe this is from uh, Halloween Crate or something like that. I have to ask uh, another YouTuber who's more knowledgeable in the topic. Anyway, first killer 1-0. Just an easy walk in. Fake challenge doesn't really accomplish much. Ixo actually getting a full rotation and a dunk. And a flick in between. What was this by Ixo? It's like he actually just got the one touch on this. It looked like I thought he must have barreled over this in the line because I was sure the first killer's touch on the line was a save, but stand corrected. The shot was just good enough. 360 by Ixo into a backflip flick. And he takes, well, or ties up the game, I should say. Wave dash by Ixo lands him pretty poorly. First killer looks to score another open net, which he will. 2 1 first. And it's one of those games so far where Ixo's. Trying to be a little bit too fancy. Something we have seen from him before. For those of you who aren't familiar with Ixo, this is something that he does to try to just get into the zone. Because if he's pulling off extravagant plays, then he starts to play a lot more confidently as a result. Sometimes it gets a little bit too much. And this might be one of those cases. First killer 3-1 as Ixo lets his guard down and gets demoed in the corner. We will go to a game five here if First Killer wins this, of course, and that would be the last game in this series. So, I'm sure we will have another couple tricks up his sleeve before this game is over. This first Killer backs him up into the corner yet again. Double jump aerial, not going to give him too much power, though. It looks like Ixo's got a free goal. So many free goals from two players who have been trying their best to avoid giving away free goals all series long. Rare to see First Killer committing to a challenge all the way into his opponent's half. That's exactly what he's done. Now First Killer trying to fire low. He still was in the vicinity. I do wonder if an element of what we're seeing from Ixo today that odd plays is partly to try and counter First Killer, partly maybe frustration at having to deal with a player who is prioritizing boost as much as first killer is bumps and speed surely it can't be something that Ixo's used to playing against the style of play but regardless he is making it work 2-1 lead in the series and he's brought this one back to 3 all it's just absorbing more 50-50s this time it's Ixo with a bump tries a mind game but first killer's floor pinched it to the halfway line. So straight out of the goal, First Killer's going to shut that one down. Leaves the boost up though, and look at the bait by First Killer. Fakes going for the boost in the corner. Ixo tries to go in for the demo play. The First Killer's just looking at the rebound the entire time. 
showing us that he's not just mechanics and tricks. He's got a couple high IQ plays as well. Skiller going to clear this one, even though he's well aware that it's hitting the crossbar. Just to give himself a bit more time before having to deal with another shot. Nice. So it's going to be careful for a demo again. First killer was looking for it there. Not the best position for first, but you will go for the wall shot anyway. One which Ixa will save with ease. Just a goal in it here. Another delayed flick by Ixa. First killer's going to get back and save this one. But only just. He's got to be careful with these offensive runs. Every time he does fake a challenge, he's taking himself out of the play. But look at that. Boost grabbed. Demo secured. And another open net for first, and this might be frustration for Ixo because he has never run into a player who is prioritizing boost steals and demos as much as first killer is. I'm sure of it. This is just crazy to watch. The dominance that first killer is able to exhibit. Two goals in it, and into the air goes Ixo. He's got some work to do. It is off target. Of course, first killer is there to interfere. And he's quick with another counterattack. Almost puts it in, and he will on the rebound. And every touch down the line is just first killer getting one more hit on the ball. Ixo not able to keep up with this pinball machine as he just ricochets off every surface. And now it's Ixo trailing by three. We saw first killer making a three goal comeback last game. Can Ixo return the favor? First killer might be trying to waste some time here. We'll straight Ixo some more, which is a good strategy in game four. Setting himself up for a very good game five, if that's the case. It's good defensive speed in the recovery by Ixo. First killer is going to back him up with another shot and a rebound. And Ixo does not respect it. And it's 7-3 for first killer. you got to think there. Maybe Ixo's expecting first killer to back off, knowing that he's got a 6-3 lead already. And knowing that Ixo might decide to rebound that ball to safety. First killer's aggression has been on point in this game four. Really bringing it to another level as he saves another Ixo flick into the top shelf of his goal. Ross Bar to the rescue. It's another pop by Ixo though, and one which is on target. And we've seen this, I think, at least three times this series. So unusual to see Ixo being the one to take light touches and pop the ball. Usually he's got his defenders running away from him, but the ball control for Ixo can work both ways. He knows how to control it at pace. He knows how to control it when he's slowing things right down. Is he going to be able to control first killer's pace for the rest of this game? That has been his biggest issue so far in game four. First killer backs off. Almost leaves the ball for Ixo, but Ixo's just been completely surprised yet again by first killer backing off to the mid, actually half flipping the landing so he could straight away run back into the ball. And just when Ixo thought he had a moment to think about what his next play was going to look like, first killer comes in and ruins his plan. Ixo with a floor pinch on target and that's a great shot. First killer stole the boost but he could not steal Ixo's goal. Ixo makes sure to time that one to perfection. If he tried to shoot that without the pinch, there's no way he was getting it on target fast enough. But with the pinch, he gave himself a chance. Three goals in it once again. 45 seconds left. But first killer backs up Ixo with a huge hit. And Ixo is still worried about first killer attacking those rebounds near to his net. Just over 30 seconds left now. Ixo's having to do some defending here. First killer gives him the ball one more time. Will Ixo convert? It's an, another bump attempt. But this time Ixo puts the ball too high. First killer's over the top of him anyway for the save. With just 20 seconds left, it's getting desperate for Ixo. He needs a goal on this attacker. It's not going to work. And First Killer reads the low 50-50 as well. It's a perfect ending to the game by First. With only 10 seconds left, he will confirm the win. And we are going to be deciding this series in Game 5. What a series it has been. But it is not over just yet. I do wonder if Ixo is going to change car one more time. You can almost bet your life on something. And that is the first killer, Will Not. Game 5, and it's Ixo in the Ripper. 
Gonna try and rip first killer a new one here. But how is this going to play out? This is a huge change up in terms of appearance for Rixo. First killer is just staying consistent all the way through. His playstyle has been very consistent as well. Just absolutely booming shots left, right and centre. Stealing boosts and running around the field as fast as humanly possible. Love to check out the average speed stats of first killer on Calculate.gg. Not just for this series, but overall. He's got to be one of the fastest players worldwide. Constantly moving around at supersonic. He's hardly a moment where he isn't. Even when he does slow things down. Looking for a bump onto Ixo, who sees it coming. First killer straight away adapting into a shot. As soon as the bump gets avoided, chaining together his threats well. But Ixo's got an open net, which he will miss, and gets a second one as a gift from first killer, which he won't miss. And a minute into the game, Ixo opens the scoring. Hardly seen Ixo boost starved in a match as much as he has been in this series, but still making things work. He's still. Keeping this close, even when it gets incredibly awkward for him. First killer has proven to be quite the opponent today in his debut match from the four. So, looking to save a low 50 50. First killer actually dodges into this one as well. It looks pretty helpless. Ixo is solidly behind the ball. And that was first killer surprising Ixo with a early challenge. Can he get on the right side of this ball for the ceiling shot? No, he cannot, and Ixo gets a good touch for the clear. First killer's going to try again from the other side of the field. This time off the wall he goes. Does not have a dodge, just decides to shoot this one. There's more attacks for first killer. And more saves for Ixo. But how is Ixo's boost management doing? This is not something that we're used to seeing from him. And it looks like he's going to cave eventually. First killer, after two hits into the bar, puts it into the goal. And sure enough, Ixo is not as able to hold it together forever. He did have pretty good boost management, though. I wanted to check on that replay, the status on that. So that is certainly promising for Ixo. He knows that the boost is being stolen from his back corner constantly. He's got to be so careful with those. Oh, it's a save by first killer Ixo. One of the best flicks that we've seen from him so far this series. First killer still saving it. But Ixo scored in on the rebound. And he's read first killer in defense to perfection. Didn't even have vision of first here, but he saw the challenge coming in underneath the ball right before he made the catch. Might be playing off a sound cue as well. Not sure what game volume Ixo uses. First killer Looking for the fast counter attack down the middle. Has to take an extra touch on it, and the backflip flick is going to go over the bar. Bit of diagonal involved in that one as well. First killer's recovery looking good. Wide open net, air will shot. We'll secure it. And half the game's gone. And we are no closer to knowing who's going to win this series. A deadlock between two of the best players in the Ones arena at the moment. Crazy to see how evenly matched these two are. I'm sure many would have expected this to be a blowout one way or the other. Given how momentum-based Ixo is and... Also, how dominant First Killer can be when he is on form. Two minutes left in the game, and First Killer looking to challenge early. That was a sneaky one. Zeke so for sure thought First Killer was backing off, and now First is actually centered it on his own net, and he so tries to follow. The downward bounce had both of them missing the ball. So really piling on the pressure there, though. First Killer cannot have expected Zeke so to go up for that. Certainly not as early as he did. Another 50-50, hardly separates the two. First killer trying to get the ball back under his control. I think so is making it extremely difficult to do so. He wants to bait first killer in, and he will bait first killer in. And the ground control in the Ripper is just as good as anything we've seen from his Octane play. And he had to get the perfect catch on that ball at Supersonic to get it past first, who was within a hair of stopping that play. But it's Ixo who's going to go into the final 80 seconds of the game with a lead. And he also has his boost firmly under control, which is going to be 
So important for him moving into the last minute here. Plenty of early flicks by Ixo. First killer. Backflip challenge. Gets bumped out of position. He's going to turn around and bump Ixo on the back wall. But Ixo's got the boost advantage, so it won't really do too much to him. First killer with another early challenge. Surely that's not going straight in. It's going to come off the crossbar mercifully for Ixo. Little minute adjustments there by first killer on the turn. Flicks it slowly to the top corner. Ixo is right there. First killer tries to put it over him. Leaves the boost in the back corner in favor of setting up another shot. But Ixo likewise prioritized the ball. Now 30 seconds left. A goal in it. Can Ixo hold on? Will he need to hold on? Not with flicks like that. Ixo saved the best till last. He's had a couple of impressive flicks this series, but none at that level. 106 kilometers an hour. The ball is flying into first killer's net before he knows what's happened. And now the task is twice as difficult. Can first killer find a goal? He's got a good opportunity here, but Ixo challenges early. It is open for first. Power shot, not powerful enough. And Ixo evades the demo. That might be the game, ladies and gentlemen. Ixo had to fight for it, but first killer is in such a rough spot. He's given himself four seconds to work with. And you know, I'm impressed the first killer managed to find a goal here. That is not an easy challenge to make. Ixo did not see it coming. But barring a really strong kickoff play, it's going to be so hard for first killer to come back. Now, that's not a bad start, but Ixo's going to ball pressure this. First killer keeps it up. There's Ixo chasing in, and it looks like the ball will hit the ground and confirm the win for Ixo. GG's. 3 to 2. Ixo wins the first series this week, and that sees him to the top of the table. First killer made him work hard, and will return tomorrow to try and earn his own first win. Thanks once again to ZDAX for sponsoring this tournament. Be sure to check them out to get your own truly customizable PC with a lifetime service warranty. Get a 5% discount with the offer code JOHNNYBOY. Thank you all for watching today. I am your host, and friend, Brian.